I I did the best I could. Yeah, so okay. I will see when the results come. Yes. Uh, you guys are having it nice. You know when sixty eight. And I went to my first year for test. Yes. We had an English professor called Green. Yes. We were about one fifty in the class. Yes, yes. And then he counted us. Yes. And then he told us you guys, by April, half of you shall have left this, <laughs> this class. I looked at him, and he's saying, by September, we must get deep here. They say, Julie performed. Yeah. Only a quarter of you will pass the exams. Yeah. And then after writing the exams, only half of you will make it. So you must decide. Which house you you want to to be at? Yeah. They used to control exams then. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 They used to control exams. Mm. So our guys took over the nonsense of thirty percent from them. Mm. Yes. Yes. Seen in a tricky and you pass when you get the thirty percent mark. True. True. True, my dear. Yeah, okay, let's start. We can commence. Uh, all the accused are here. Uh, Mr. Ramusepil is not yet here. There's a the phone. He so he's going uh, to be late. He hasn't sent any message. Just quickly checking. Daisy. Daisy. Oh, here it is. <coughs> You fit to proceed. As it please the court, my lord, thank you for the indulgence. I'm feeling much better now. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. As it please the court, my lord. Uh, yesterday, I referred to a number of statements, my lord. Um, I think uh, some of which were already handed in as exhibits, particularly the one that I referred to of uh, Miss Zandi. Now, the one that I referred to as uh, statement number A113, the one that was penned by Longe Twala, I did not request, my lord, that it be handed in as an exhibit, as well as the one that is numbered A57. I also, it also slipped my mind that I should request that it be handed in an exhibit. May I therefore, with the leave of court, my Lord, request that both statements be handed in as exhibits. Um, <clears throat> the last statement, my lord, that I requested that it be handed in, I think it was Makumalu's statement and it was Mark Triple V. Uh, now, the first statement of Mr. Longetwala, Mark A113, I'm going to request that it should be marked. I don't know whether we're following Triple V, S T U V X. Then we're going to mark it as triple X. W, I think that will be triple W1. 
There's also the statement A9. I don't know whether it's not being headed up of long way. Um. <coughs> yes, my lords. Uh, A9 as well, yes. Um, let's start with A9. A9, my lord, will then be marked triple W1, and then A11, okay, let's go to A51, A50, A57, 57, be marked as triple W2. And A... One one three be marked triple W in brackets three, my lord. No, one of six. It's a, I think it was the duplication of one one three. Thank you, my lord. Please, please, the court, my lord. Brigadier, yesterday, uh, good morning, good morning. Good, good morning, advocate minister. Thank you. Um, before we adjourned, there was a question that I posed, and the court wanted to clarify whether do I then re uh, request that you give an opinion in that regard. Let me quickly go back to the question just to check your mind. The question was to the following effect. Now in view of, um, I actually wanted to know what would then be the relevance of your testimony in saying that, um, uh, uh, actually in, in bringing that kind of testimony before court where you said that there were pictures that were found in the downloads of accused number three's phone as well as, um, as, well as uh, Longway Twala's phone and Kelly, yes, and Kelly's phone. So, the gist of my question was, what was the relevance of that testimony of yours? Similar, similar pictures. Yes. yes. Malot, as, as, as the statement indicates, it was to show the linkages um, you know that there's linkages um, or rather similar pictures as advocate Nisi says. Um, that was the essence of it. Now, are you then saying there could have been a leakage 
just simply because on the similarity of those photos, you're then saying that there could have been a linkage between Kelly Kumalo and accused number three and Longe Twala, and there was also a linkage uh, uh, between Longe Twala, Kelly Kumalo, and accused number three. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> My Lord, the court will recall that I said this was guided by the expert. This is now Kenneth Stein, who informed me and then thereafter then showed me um, such in his affidavit. So I was moving in that precinct. He's the expert in this area. And, uh, and, and, and that's what they established and then communicated to me, which then I utilized in my investigation when I applied for the warrants. I think it appears in a number of statements, uh, such linkages, my lord. I look at the Pelasa Sihola or Colonel Stain O Trepesh. When I got Wang Sizage, a look at the Nagay, who says the good to see Funen or Kippa and the Mawaran, or go with Yen or Trepesh and Alok. Thank you. That being the case, as an investigating officer, would you then say, as an investigating officer, would you then say that that information that you got from from Colonel Stain, as you analyze the evidence, um, that evidence indicates, therefore, that accused number three was complicit in the commission of these offences that is facing today. No, what I think my Lord indicates the, uh, the, 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 the suspicion of the involvement of accused three um, is, is the issues that I've dealt with. I've indicated, my Lord, the issues of the firearm, the issues of the dreadlocks, the issue of the clothing, you know, without repeating. These related really to linkages, my Lord. Because the court will recall, my lord, after the statement of these accused one and two were obtained, where, and I've said this, my lord, Ms. Kelly Kumalo was identified as a trigger point. One needed to investigate the linkages, you know, the, whether you can confirm, you can collaborate what is being said by objective evidence. So this is one of the pieces of evidence that we found in terms of this back, back of money that is appearing between her um, and, 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 and accused number three, my lord. So do I then understand you to say that despite those pictures being found in Kelly Kumalo's phone, uh, similar pictures being found in Kelly Kumalo's phone, accused number three's phone and Longetola's phone, that was just for purposes of investigation. My Lord, investigation, as I've said yesterday, is a systematic, systematic way of finding the truth. That's what I was busy with at that stage, and that's what we found. And so are the other things that we discovered. So it was discovered during the investigation process. And the interest that sparked that, that, that desire or that interest to pursue that investigation was triggered by the confessions which were made by accused one and two, where Mrs. Kumalo, uh, uh, Ms. Kumalo sorry, was then mentioned. Now when her name is being mentioned, and it is, seems to be indicating that there is a communication, a communication between Ms. Kumalo and the perpetrators, as I've said, my lord, you need to collaborate that evidence, and that is where now the search embarked on, and these discoveries were then discovered, my lord. So it was not just a, um, um, a, an exercise that had no direction. It was to collaborate and find evidence if, if indeed it does exist. Uh, 
Liga Kelly Kumalo, Major's finances, Sitolis is a rash wood. Major's Kelly Kumalo, Kumana, and Chadman, so a waste to you call again, Major, Mrs. Funuti. See, Vesa, Sitolis in the S. Caesar, which is squares, which see, speak is a rash wood, but Kumana and Chad. Now, let me put it this way, sir. In view of your explanation now, did you ever find a link between accused number three and longer toala in view of those photos? My lawyers have explained the, the, the linkages, the investigation of cell phones was led by Kenneth Stein. And according to his report and what he told me when I said the report, is that there was a linkages between the three in terms of these photos. This is Long Etwala, Accused 3, and Miss Kelly Kumalo. That's what was communicated to me, my lord. <laughs> Um, but according to you, he told you that uh, as a result of similar photos being found in the cell phone catches of these three people, then that proves linkage. Did he tell you how that link? How did that linkage happen? How, how except for the phones being found in their in their cell phones, similar photos being found in their cell phones. How did this linkage happen? Manje, you can use the hunters a lot. Apparently, what is it? Tom Beza Tolala, Emma Funi, and Abo is fun. I want us a lot to come and go against the arranger. No, my lord. He's an expert in his field. It's the same as you when you get a, a report from a ballistic expert. If he says there's a link, I can't say he must show me all the margins because I'm not an expert. Same with the fingerprint expert. You look for the results of their findings. So, Kenneth Stein explained to me that there's a link and it is, it is included in his statement and, and I couldn't take it further than that. I don't think, my lord, I had even expertise to actually ask him to take me through the details of it, my lord. So I'm simply saying, my lord, I think in a stain, he's, he'll be in a better position to explain those links because he's an expert, my lord. I'm sure you can say, um, I recall that there was a point when you were requested by the court to read into record Colonel Stain's uh, a feat of it that was subsequent to me asking you um, actually that was subsequent to you having said that Colonel Stain told you that there was a link between accused number three and Kelly Kumalo then I think I then objected I'm just trying to give a background of that situation I then objected but then the court uh, in, in his discretion, then requested you to go to that specific aspect of the Afita Vit, where you, where Colonel Stain says that there's a linkage between um, accused number three and Kelly Kumalo. Do you still remember that scenario? So, Kumbula, I know what I'm saying. I'm going to say, Afita Vit, Kenneth Stain, the air casa, I'm going to say, Ukumana Paratum Solo Statu no Kelly Kuman, in Gandologa, the Naga is a Hamba we lapo will lapo Padre corner, that Bonagala corner, Utupade, a cousin, Utu corner, Lukuman, 
part kwa lava wabi. I do recall my notes. Yeah, when you come board. Thank you. Now, the gist of that uh, scenario was that you had mentioned that there was a communica- there was a communication between Kelly Kumalo and accused number three, and that was on record. I just not so sure whether I brought that record. Let me just read it. May I be afforded an indulgence, Marie, just to quickly look at that? Thank you. Uh, uh, yes. Um, on 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 the eighth of November 2024, when you were being cross-examined uh, by, Ms., Ms., uh, by Mr. Ramusipili, it was in the cross-examination of Mr. Ramusipili, um, this is what you said, um, I'm going to start to read from page 68, uh, the transcribed record of the 8th of November 2024. I'm reading it from line 20, page 68, from line 20, page 68. This is what is happening. Uh, A question that came from Mr. Ramusipili, otherwise advocates evidence. Then the court comes in and says, wait, wait, I do not understand. Um, you are asking a question. You are obliged to answer the question pertaining to your investigation. And then, Mr. Kininda, that's now yourself. Yes, my lord. Then the court said, that is it, as you conducted it, so that the court can appreciate too. You cannot tell me that you disclose this piece of evidence, but you will not disclose this piece of evidence. What should I do about the rest of your evidence then? Then yourself, being Mr. Kininda, then respond. You say, I understand, my lord. My lord. So the other aspect that I did not touch on is that there is the report that I got, and it is contained in one of Colonel Stain's statements. There's a link between, let me say, communication between Ms. Kelly Kumalo and accused number three. In a nutshell, I just do not know how Colonel Stain phrased it, but establish the link between accused three and Kelly Kumalo other than accused number five. Then, Mr. Ramusipili, let us go to, sorry, and then myself, as it pleases the court, my lord, yeah. Uh, this is not an objection. That's now me saying that. This is not an objection, man. It is just a clarification. So the information relate. I need to understand it correct. So what Brigadier Kininda is saying there, the further information that is not disclosed to the court as per the indistinct, it is that the statement of Stain actually says that there was a link between accused three and Kelly Kumalo. That is the information that I need, that it need not, it need not be disclosed to court according to him. I just want to follow that statement. Then the court says, are you able to explain, sir? And then you, as you yourself are saying, yes, my lord. What I can explain is that a statement that I saw, and if it needs be, we can get into it. 
and I can read it verbatim. There is the statement of Colonel Stain links accused number three with Miss Kelly Kumalo. That is the essence of it. As to how he puts these terms, that is the part that I do not want to misquote him. But what is clear is that there's a link with Miss Kelly Kumalo and accused number three. Do you now follow? Um, Manu, oh, I, 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 I'm sorry, maybe I need to give you this for an interpretation. Uh, I think it can help. Yes. I'm sorry, Manu. <coughs> I, uh, let me just indicate where I started. Sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. I just want to show where I started. I started line 20, and then I ended here. Page 70 from 68 to page 70. Yeah, I started here and then I ended up here. Yeah. As it is the court, man. Thank you. What you are going to do Ubabu Ram CPD, Ufagazi, Balo Munye, who advocate in Catalogia City, Auma, Omega, Connie Denga is the Cecilia, O Buse Umbuzo. You are Ufana to Pendule, Umbuzo, Maelana, no pain or lack. We say a pendulage, O Kininda Oti, Yebunko Sengador. And for what logo in Candola City, Yabo Iloco, eh, Ubutuena, what can be Saganjani, Ubuze in Candolo, Izo, Zisis, and I would Ubukazu tin. I was going to tell Ubuti, eh, Ukona, O Logo of Funugu Vesa Pam Gangandolo, got a Ukona, Lobu Fagas on a Funugu Vesa Pam Gangandolo. Manje kufana ngenze nige ngalo bubu yumfaka zibako. Wabuki nindo wa seti ngea kuzisi isa ngeo senga ndolo. Koto wake eh, kukona gezi ngi zindo engi nga zitindanga. Ogule eh, ombigo le engu utolile. Eh, kuko, loko kukona la pa eh, mbi weni kakanel stain eh, statement in sack. Eh, kukona ge, Lapo etiko na kukona ukumana eh, paka tuka keli ukumano na msolo we statu. Ushutike kafusha nege eh, anga zugu tu kenel stain uwe baibe kakanja ni koto wake wakwa zugu tabe kutu kwa nukumana paka tuka msolo we statu no keli ukumano eh, ushutike nano magisinga mfagi lapo msolo we statu. Kubanga la pogo wati ge asitu kubega pambi wati ukolo ukuluma ubabram sipi dila and then ubabuni si waseti ge ai ge jambo ba itanda ingando kubega la pambi ingod ingando le asiabu zuto utini mvwa la ubabuni si waseti ge ka angfun upigi sa bengfuna jogo chukupe nina zelo ezogala. Uti ke kukona uluazi ulua zuliswa mfunu kuzisisa kona logo Uguze uprikikitie kininda Loka kisho uti kukona uluazi ulu unye kubege la pambili Ulu ngafisange lufezo inka ndolo Manche la pokikia bona haru uta kazu uti kusho ngani Uti wake mekubege la pambili iti ke Ile si statement disgusting Si shoyo uti kukona kumana pagatu kwa msolo we statu no kedu kumana. Ulolo uluazi, esu ufanele luleto la yunga ndolo njongo bage ya nage kazele. Ngufunu kulande lisi sagase i statement uti si chuktini. Mkose yunga ndolo lisi ya buzage, uiti uya wazu kukaza ini logo. Kulikatiri kininga usia pendula uti yebo mkose yunga ndolo Nginga kukaza nje uguti i statement leso ngasibona futi ke 
uma kuwuti ya dingeka singa yeso chola gale ni statement inga pinde futi inge sifu nde kushuti ingisho i statement ska kennel stain la poga es kuma kona msolo we statu no keli kumano yugona geje mfunu kukaza log and ukuthi ke wena wabe kakanjani lapha statement isinsake yewuye kodwa kwengakwazi ukuthi engafusa ukuthi ngingakubeki ngendlela ezophikisana nalendlela ayibeke ngayo yena eh kodwa ke okukhona ukuthi ke kukhona ukuxhumana phakathi kwakheli ukuxhumalo nomsolo wesithathu is a court thesis my lord i think the record says exactly what i've been saying simply says that I've said there is a link, not a communication. I think where we seem to not to be finding each other with Advocate Munisi is when he uses the term linkages. I mean, sorry, communication instead of linkages. And I've explained this again, my lord, yesterday where I said when we came to this exercise, it was arising from the questions that were coming from Mr. Ramsipil, where he was taking me through my statements. And when you go to the paragraph where I said, there is a link between Ms. Kelly Kumalo and accused three and five. He then asked me specifically, what linkages are you talking about? Not communication, linkages. And it arises from the all the way down, my lord. So I've always said that it's linkages. And the exercise that we embarked upon on the statement of Kenneth Stein on page 41 proves exactly that, my lord, because it says link between targets. Ms. Kelly Kumalo is there, um, but then there are various people that are there, including accused number three, my lord. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I think it was a question of semantics. Now that you have explained it, it comes out very clear that the, it is basically a huge uh, um, a difference between communication and a link. You are also mentioning that you were trying to explain that through the information that is contained on page 41 of Lieutenant Colonel Spain. I would love us to go there. That is exhibit 01. Well, I don't have exhibit 01, my lord. Okay, thank you. We are going to assist you with it. Don't worry. Yes, my lord. Thank you. On page 41, on exhibit 01. Yes, I'm, okay, I have it in front of me, my lord. Yeah, we, we to still remember that day, as we were using that microscope, I even said that I'm unable to follow because the numbers here on this, on the, on this exhibit very small, then I requested that it be built so that the accused can follow as well. I would also request the same indulgence, my lord. I recall, my lord. Thank you.
there seems to be a technical glitch with the with the with the laptop. Apparently, it has frozen. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to switch to on. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, <clears throat> on page 41, I don't want to um, lead you in respect of the linkage that you say Stain said it was there between accused number three and Kelly Kumalo. Now, that is this, what Stain said, uh, that is what is contained in Stain Affidavit in page 40, 41 of his Affidavit, that's now exhibit 01. Now, um, those are the links between the target 
Um, as you go down that page, page 41, Stain then explains what is represented, what is contained in that uh, diagram, schematic diagram there. Um, but I'm not so sure whether you're able to relate what you're saying that Stain told you that there was a link between accused number three and Kelly Kumalo in relation to what is contained in his affidavit. If you're able to do so, then you may proceed. My Lord, no, I can't. I'm not an expert. And that is why I said this right from the beginning, that I'm very cautious of trying to interpret this document, because I'm not qualified to do so. All I said, my Lord, is that he gave me a report, and the report that he gave me then, he showed me the statement, and it is here, links to targets. That's how far I can take it. In terms of interpretation, I'll be venturing in a terrain that I'm not qualified to do so, my Lord. Let me help you, sir. Uh, on page 41, it says links between the target and there's this uh, diagrammatic representation there. And then as you go down, it gives the analysis of what is represented in that diagram there. May we kindly please go down to the analysis? Or in other words, it's an analysis or a summary or information that is contained in the diagram in weird form. Now, the first point says there's a contact between Kelly Kumalo and then it lists that number and another cell phone number that allegedly belongs to Fisogus and Tuli at Nkani, not so. <coughs> Do you see that? We are born in the corner of the Ego Ako Visakon, which is the corner of the Ugo Tindana Do you see that? My Lord, I see that, but my, 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 my difficulty with this, there is no heading or a sentence that says these bullet forms are interpreting what is contained above. And this is why I'm saying I don't want to venture into this because then I'm being asked to speculate what these bullet forms are talking to in relation to this spider web. I, I, I'm not the author of this, my lord, and, and otherwise then we'll be speculating and we might find ourselves um, not agreeing with Advocate Mnesi. Kenneth Stein, I think, will be in a better position to deal with this document because he's the author. I was simply proving that what I was saying when I said there was a link and I got a report from, from Kenneth Stein, here is it, it is documented. The interpretation of this, interpretation of this, my lord, Kenneth Stein is more qualified to deal with this part, my lord. When I was to Kenneth Stein, I was to Kaza Abansana, Guti, eh, Logak Padile, Lapa is a Mukasa, Guti Wenzega and Lapa Glam to Ebolo. Uh, we are not at Thank you, sir. Um, what I am putting to you is exactly what Colonel Stain said. Colonel Stain said those bullet points represent an interpretation of what is contained in that diagrammatic representation. So this is no speculation, that's what he said. Now, you are telling this court that he told you that there was a link between accused number three and Kelly Kumano. And that is found in this link between the targets. Now, I want us to go through that exercise to confirm what Colonel Stain told you about the link that was between accused number three and Kelly Kumalo by using this information in his affidavit. So, for now, 
Thanks. I'm quite pleased, Manu. I think my Leonard friend has um, sufficiently threshed out this issue, not only today, but also on, on, on Wednesday, um, just before we adjourned. The witness has said that um, Colonel Stain's evidence is on record. I don't know whether counsel wants now Brigadier Girina to interpret the evidence of uh, um, Colonel Stain. It is on record. It's now for the parties to, um, to argue that uh, point, uh, to see if there's support for the um, evidence of uh, Brigadier Gininda. But it cannot be expected of him now to try and, and interpret the evidence of uh, Colonel Stain. He has repeatedly said he's not an expert. Um, uh, Colonel Stain, he's the one uh, who's an expert in his testified about uh, these issues. We submit, my lord, that it's an unfair question to, um, to Brigadier Guinea to keep on probing him on the same issues, uh, in respect of which he's already said he's not an expert. <coughs> yes, it is the court, my lord. Yes, it is the court, my lord. This is not about interpretation. It is what is contained in Colonel States are fit of it as raw as is. I'm not requesting this witness to interpret what is contained in Colonel Stain a fit of it. I'm simply requesting him to read what Colonel Stain is saying in his a fit of it, whether having read that he's able to identify what he claims to have been said to him by Colonel Stain that there was a link between accused number three and Kelly Kumalo. In other words, I am trying to assist this witness to find a collaboration, using his term, between what he was told by Mr. Stain and what Mr. Stain says in his affidavit. This is more to help him than to help me. I am trying to do that now. I'm, actually, I'm trying to help the state. Just uh, to find a collaboration. Is yes, he says he's not an expert, and that uh, document was drafted by Colonel Stain, who is the expert. Yes, ma'am. And he says he doesn't want to speculate. But you, Mr. Nis, you, yes. and together with your learned colleagues, yes. you persistently told this witness don't venture into the field. You are not an expert. When yes. he tried to explain, for instance, about the DNA evidence. Correct, man. You told him, you are not an expert, it's not your job. <laughs> I remember, man. Yeah, you told him that. He was now you say, that. now he must do the same very job you, of his, of, of, when you told him that he's not an expert. He mustn't venture. It's not his duty. His duty is just to present evidence. Yes. And that's it. Now he says he's not able to read that document because it involves expertise. I see, my Lord. Uh, but my Lord. Let's have, let's have progress. Because he says he can't. And you are saying you are helping him. Yes. To help himself. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not saying to this witness, my Lord, can you please explain to me what is happening here? I am saying to him, can you please read this, what is contained in, in Colonel Stain's affidavit? I'm not requesting him to give an opinion, to make conclusions, to draw inferences. No. I'm simply requesting him to read this as raw well as is, man. Yeah. Mm. I'm reminded, my lord, by my colleague, uh, 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 Mr. Ramusipeli, that uh, on the same way that uh, would be argued that this witness cannot read this into the record because it's not an expert. So Ram simply reminds me that at one point or the other during the proceedings in this matter, the witness was requested to read into record certain portions of of the of the uh, of the expert evidence in relation to the DNA. Now I I find it a little bit odd for this witness to come and say, no, I can't, I can't read that because I'm not an expert. He should have said the very same thing, 
when he was requested to read in to record the DNA results. And Mr. Ramusipili likes to say what is good for the Kanda should also be good for the goose. Whatever that means, it might mean what should then be happening here, my lord. But nonetheless, my lord, I understand the court to have ruled that this witness is not in a position to read into record here because of fear of speculation. I respectfully respect that ruling, my lord. Um, thank you, uh, Brigadier Kininda. Let's proceed, but still on the same point. Um, in, the, in the testimony of Mr. Um, in the testimony of uh, Mr. Sorry, uh, Colonel Stain. There was no information because he based every, uh, every aspect of his evidence on what is contained in this in this uh, in this in this affidavit. Nothing came out when he said that there was a link between accused number three and Kelly Kumalo. If it told you that, then it was very disingenuous of him to have told you that, knowing that that is not contained. In his in his affidavit, do you understand? Uh, first, if I can understand, I go call Luto. Oh, Luto, that guy that left his affidavit here, he only comes out to the command of Guga Kedukuma no no musola restatu kuzaranja. My Lord, I was not here when Kenel Stain testified. What I'm saying, and this is what I said the last time, my Lord, when we were dealing with page 41, I referred not to bullet points. The report I got from Kenel Stain directed me to the spider web, and that's what I read the last time when it was beam on the screen. And it is clear that the heading reads links between targets. Yes. Ms. Kel Kumalo is there. If you go down the web, you see the contact numbers of accused number three. He's mentioned and even the number. That's, that's how far I can take it. And to say, my Lord, I cannot read the document, there's a difference between reading and interpreting. I can read, I said I don't have expertise to interpret what is contained here. That's why I said Kenneth Stain is best vested with the abilities to deal with this part, my Lord. Thank you, sir. Uh, I will call again, Lana Obu, a Goba, Nga, 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 Paratuba, Goba, Gomina, Engag, Engagwens, and Jogutti, Minanga, Feding a Congas and Salom to Bula Panga, Combis, and I could talk on a Konukumana, who part way number eight is and the number of Solom Vistat, Naya, Fela Lap, Gotamina, La Enga, Langa Fiena La Cona, Ten, Nafunda Japan, and Gagang was Ukaz, a Dugang Funda. But I ain't got Thank you, sir. Um, for the sake of completeness, this is what uh, Colonel Stain said on page 41. He said he was able to create, he was able to identify that there was a contact between Kelly Kumalo and Fiso Wilsenkan, and that is contained in the document, and he lists their cell phone numbers. That's number one. Number two, he says there was a communication between Fiso Wilsenkan in bracket Nkani and Mtobi Sikaza Mnube. He also lists their cell phone numbers. Number three, he says, there was a communication between Mtobi Sikaza Mnube, Arlos, uh, <coughs> <coughs> Carlos, and Mapungu Ntuli. That is bullet number three. Bullet number four, he says, he was able to identify when he analyzed the calls or, or the phones or the information, the, the, the 205 information that was handed to him by you, that there was a communication between Mapungu Ntuli in brackets two and Bongani Sandiso Ntanzi. He also listed their cell phone numbers. Bullet number five, 
he says he was also able to find that there was a communication between Fisoguthi Ntuli alias Nkani and Muziga Ukalelwa September Sibia um, who was accused number one uh, also known as Muzi Stroke Ndo. That is his information relating to that uh, diagrammatic representation. There. And as I read this, there's no way where he says, I was able also to find a link, you know, just to avoid using the word communication, to find a link between Mtobis Mnube, that is accused number three, and Kelly Kumar. Do you follow? Lana ya ute uwazile uguti akombise gupule choke ya kukala uguti akombise ukumana kwa band uguti kona maa kontakta maa tatu akona lapo atkumanayo wesbili wase kuluma ngogu kuluma pagati kwa kusofiso kusentuna no kaza kube kwa tu kona lae kuluma kona ukaza ngobe noma noma kungu ntuli wesu wogu pointe sine uguti wawazu kukomisa kutu uma kungu wawazu kuluma no no bongani and kwa sewe pileto stato uwe slano wase kukomisa uguti kwa kono kuluma sana patu kwa fiso kutle ntule no subia. Got a book or I come beside Conoguti, who corner of Kumana Pagatu, who come soda with tattoo Nabang. My Lord, as I've said, and I think I dealt with this part where I said my understanding there's a difference between linkages and communication. The bullet points that have been read refers to communication. And I've explained, my Lord, that my understanding of the report I got referred to linkages. And that is why, my Lord, I said the best person who can deal with this is really Kenneth Stein. Because if you look at the diagram above, where he says links to target, the number of Ms. Kelukumalo appears and the number of accused appears. But I'm not an expert to refer to, you know, to interpret this. And he says links. Bullet points that are read to me refers to communication. And I understand communication to be a call whether receive or made or whatever forms of communication direct. I understand links differently, but as I've said, my Lord, I'm not an expert because I'll end up now misinterpreting this document, speculating where I was told I should not uh, uh, speculate in areas where I'm not an expert. Uh, and and, and, and I, I, I would like to leave it at that, my Lord. As I've said, Kenneth Stein can interpret this document. All I said, after he gave me the report, it is contained in this exhibit because there is a clear it's, it's even bolded, my lord, links between target. Ms. Kelukumalo is there and accused number three is there. If there's a dispute that what is contained here is not links, then Kenneth Stein can be in a better position to explain that, my lord. Joba be saying, Shilog, Nana Pambi, who would economic to go to go Kumana no Kurmisan. Moba meaning in the language, we see some island to go to a communication no ma ukunu misa na gushugu tige kuko na osha yutengo wa tinda na no muye ngoteng kuto agela pa kule amtu ebolo kona la pa kiyabo na galu guti la na ngoba pela la na pela be kuli ya gokuma na pela kuto agiyabo na galu guti kono kuma no kona futi kiyabo na kiyabo na galu guti na mukalo o o o o o paliwe la pa ukunu misa lo kuma ne abo na guti Upadwe wazo wa kizeleno, mba kufuna kubuna gale kati kuti uzamuta asu kuti kukua nukuma na mba ilona ii founi ka msolo istatu yako njiso la na nesi founi ka keli kuma yako njiso la kutu wake mina angenge nga wazo kuti nkupe ele pambili giti ngeazama ukuleta ingazelo ee zuzu wakana ngoba ngizo kina ngika keela ngono kubizo ukwepeshe ugu yeno nga wazo kaa Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Brigadier. Um,
now you <clears throat> subsequent to taking over of the investigation by you you requested that uh, accuse number three cell phone should be downloaded and subsequently that too that was done and there were pictures that are shown in those downloads of him wearing certain clothes on the 26th of october 2014 we have seen that many a times here at court not so again <laughs> Yes, when I was present, my Lord, giving testimony, I've seen those pictures. When I was not, obviously, but I've got no doubt, um, as Advocate Nis is saying, that they may have been shown um, on numerous occasions, but I, I wouldn't know. I was not here. I can only refer to instances when I was in court, my Lord. Yeah, I'm referring to Exhibit uh, S. Um, uh, I'm referring to Exhibit S. Uh, thank you. I'm referring to Exhibit S. can go to page 12 of Exhibit S. Page 12, 17 will do as well, but let's go to page 12. Yes, I... I, I uh, Thank you. I have it in front of me. Thank you. Now, one of the reasons why you say after the confession, after you found the content of the confession allegedly made by accused number two, you were then you 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 then formulated a viewpoint. I don't want to say you are satisfied. You then formulated a viewpoint that because the witnesses in the house identify the gun totter as somebody who was wearing a a a a, a beach a beach top, then you had a look at these pictures and then you got. You, you, you formulated a view that that could have been accused number three. Did I understand you to mean that? Remember, you confession speed. So my lord, the witnesses, yeah, so what I found, so I'll regard this as one of the collaborations that I found, that, 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 that was that, but it was a number of um, items or, or points that one found 
um, insofar as accused number three. But insofar as clothing is concerned, um, other witnesses are saying beige or brown jacket, and others are specific to say it was a khaki top. So yes, when I found this picture, I viewed this top, my lord, as, as, a, as, as, as a top um, and khaki, because there are other pictures where you can see accused three um, almost from the top to the bottom, where you can see that this is actually a top and there's a trouser underneath. Uh, <coughs> now, having received the information as contained in Exhibit S, which is in the form of these pictures that are depicting what accused number three is wearing in those pictures. Did you go back to the witnesses who were in the house, who are describing what he was wearing to them to find out if what is depicted in Exhibit S, in the photos in Exhibit S, which um, uh, depict what accused number three is wearing, to find out if this is what they saw on the day in question. Major <laughs> No, no, my lord, but that point goes back to what we dealt with with Advocate Nisi, with the issue of an identity parade. The court will recall, my lord, that I said after um, the confessions were received from both accused, the name of Ms. Kelly Kumalo as a trigger point came in. Now, while you investigate, obviously, the people who are implicated, in that investigation, I also had to investigate the people who were inside the house to see if you can find a collaboration. You cannot now, sitting with that information that implicates, for example, Ms. Kelly Kumalo, and you run to her um, when you have not exhausted as to whether she's involved or not. You can't, my lord. That, that's not how it's done. So there was an investigation that needed to be done insofar as the people who were inside the house to see if, other than Ms. Kelly Kumalo is being mentioned, there are collaborations that you can find to exclude or to include them if they were involved or otherwise, my lord. So that was not done, and I think the exercise is because there was an investigation to establish whether there were links with Ms. Kelly Kumalo, but not only her, as to whether maybe other people who were inside the house could have played a role, um, you know, with a common understanding of, of executing this offense. So that took time. By the time then we were exhausted and satisfied that these are the people we can rely on, that is when now the approach to Ms. Togo Sitwala Mr. Mtogo Sisitwala and Dumelo Mazala then kicked in, my lord. So this was not done, and those were the reason why it was not done, my lord. Hello. <coughs> <coughs> And the footy getting a Zamuti, none of us is told here about the Kukon of Kuman or Kelukuman. As far as this told is this woody, Logo Kumana, Kumana, Galip, Mobaba Corner, Ababa Connentine, doesn't have very certain woody by Tintega, no Madan Ababa by Tintega, no Mabatin Degi, no friend of no no pen your old pedal, also Zamuku Vesa, Woody, Bangena Ganja, Niglinda. Yes, my lord, that's, that's my answer. Thank you, my lord. My lord, I um, realize that we left with a minute or two.
before we go for a short adjournment, uh, I would request that we adjourn the session and proceed after the short adjournment. It's only it's 13 minutes past 11. Okay, so Thank you, ma'am. 15 minutes.